I dreamed of this woman and admired this woman from afar in the deepest and, and most truthful way. And to step into that skin was wonderful. Your Royal Highness. Mommy. <laughs> family are all gathered in the drawing room. They are waiting. Spencer centers around the Christmas weekend that led to the end of Diana's troubled marriage to Prince Charles. There has to be two of you. It's the real one. <laughs> the one they take pictures of. It also depicts the scrutiny Diana faced from the public, drawing comparisons to Kristen's own life in the spotlight, though she says her situation is far less. Like, I don't want to lean away from comparisons because they're quite obvious. Like, a lot of people take my picture. I'm an actor who wants to reach out and touch people. She could not be herself in public. I can. For the Los Angeles premiere, Kristen was bold in an ab-bearing bralette and tulle skirt combo by Chanel. The luxury fashion house is also behind this red jacket featured in the film. We took that picture actually at um, a fitting. That was like the first time I really stepped in to her, the clothes, the wig at the same time. I didn't feel like Diane all the time. I didn't look in the mirror and feel like her. So that picture shocked me. And though we don't see Diana's royal nuptials to Charles in the film, we do get a glimpse of that iconic 80s wedding gown and a montage highlighting some of the major moments in Diana's life. Before she left the family and decided to make this monumental decision that was gonna really rock history, her life flashes before her eyes. The memory of that wedding is, you know, kind of laced throughout the whole movie.